All right, all right. It's everybody's favorite Uncle Uncle Buddy. All right. We found an item here, and I cannot focus in on it, which is very weird. But look. I come to the item, and I get a hit on this item. Look at that. I go to the wall behind it. Absolutely nothing. So, I'm going to move the item, because this, this is what's making this unique. Okay, I move the item, clear away, there's where it was hanging, no hits, nothing. Moved it completely away, I'd say five feet away. Look. <laughs> this item is actually getting a hit. There's nothing in it that's electronic. Let's set that in there. Whoops. Oh, my cane fell. That was me. Oh. But look at that. Actually getting a hit on this. Wow. Not. What in the world? Okay. Die Pirate. All right, all right, all right. It's everybody's favorite Uncle Uncle Buddy, also known as the Sky Pirate. Well, today we're introducing you to something new. It's not drone video, and it's not an interview, but I got some family that, and my wife, and my sister, and they like ghost hunting, and that's my REM pod, and I got to tell you what's going on. I built ghost hunting equipment just because it's cheaper to build it than to buy it. It's easy to build, and I'm good at what I do, so I did it. Um, some stuff I did buy, like my EMF meter. But anyway, the doll that you see there is not haunted. But we're going to put a night camera on these items that I got. The doll I got here a few weeks ago at an at a antique sale. Um, it's not a haunted doll. There's not a ghosty in it or anything like that, which I'm a skeptic of that stuff anyway. But there's things that happen, like you feel the hair on the back of your neck go up or you get a spooky feeling. You can't explain why. And that happens to everybody, whether we believe it or not. And you may want to admit it or not, but it does happen to everybody. Well, I got a couple of high-tech things like this REM pod up here. And it works by if something gets close enough to it to touch it. I'm not even close enough to touch it. But it goes off. And you see where I'm at now. Okay? But it'll go off every once in a while by itself since I bought these three items right here today. Now... These three items have some something attached to them. And I'll tell you why. I'm, I'll start with these two. See? That's freaky, but there's no magnetism to these. There's nothing magnetic about them. But I got to show you this. This is my EMF meter. I just turned it on. That's why it blinked red. And I'll turn it up. I keep it turned down for when I'm in the stores and stuff. But... I took this all around the um, antique store today, and I'll make sure I get all of that in the video here to let you know where the antique store was. There's more items in there, but I just bought three things. And anyway, this is not an electric item, and that shouldn't be going off. But this is this is, doesn't have an electric field. It's not magnetized. Neither one of them are magnetized. 
but it'll go off. This is a, a steel for knife sharpening. And for some reason, it is causing that to go off. That to go off. And it's just, there's no, I mean, it's just weird. Well, watch this. That, also, none of the other metal items just like it. This is a bottle opener, beer opener. None of the other items around it that were made out of the same material did this. I don't understand why this is setting off my EMF meter. Well, that's my hand getting close to it, but if I set this up here and remove my hand, well, I'm not setting it off now, but... Come on. All right. Anyway, that was setting it off. This has been setting this off. I mean, there's no... Look, on the handle. There should be no reason for any of this. Now, what started all of this was while I was looking around in there, I seen this. It, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. All right, I seen this hanging on the wall there, and it's a Victorian comb holder, and it looks old. There's not anything, I wanted to do some research on it. There's not any markings or anything that says when it was made, where it was made. It's, it's, oh, here we go. Okay, Iron Art, JM97, so I'm assuming this was made in 1997, and... It probably belonged to somebody, but it was hanging on the wall, and I went over, and I, I got video of doing this. These two, I don't have video in the store of them, um, but I do of this, so I'll probably be showing you this. But my EMF meter read this on the wall, just like it is now. I took it, went all the way around it on the wall, and nothing. I took this off the wall, carried it across the room, got the same results. All the way around it, nothing electronic around it. Then, I took it way into another room there, and with the same result. So I decided, well, this is something we want to investigate a little bit further. So, that's, I ended up with it. I found this. Okay. And a beer opener. I don't know how good you can see it, but it's a beer opener. And then a knife. Uh, uh, they call them a steel. A knife steel. It's an old one. I don't know how old it is. Wooden handle. I mean, it looks it looks well used and rusted out. And but who knows? But it seems weird that this would have an attachment to it, but it does. I mean. Clear down into the handle. It has an attachment to it. Um, this, a bear opener. It's old. I don't know how old it is, but it looks pretty primitive to me. But it sets everything off. So, I thought, well, my EMF detector, which I'm going to turn it off now, picked up something attached to these. Now, when I told you my doll wasn't, okay, it's, this just, oh, that's just me. When I told you the doll, see, there's no, the doll ain't doing anything. It's not moving around. But, I'm using my doll, turn that off. I'm using the doll as what you would call a, um, oh, shoot. I, I know science. I should remember what it's, but. There's nothing with the doll to make it do anything. It's not going to move. It's not going to do nothing. So, these here and the doll, we're going to go ahead and leave the, the security camera on them overnight. And it's going to be night vision, so it'll be completely black in here. And just going to see what happens. Uh, nothing probably is going to happen, but I want to make sure of that. And... Leave it at that. So, with that being said, 
we're gonna try for some EVPs and Michelle is my EVP person because of her vision she's got supersonic hearing so she listens to all of our EVPs for us um, before we get into any more of this investigation I'm gonna let you know my sister Colleen and her husband um, we're all set up they bought some equipment and I've built them some equipment and with Michelle and myself and we're can Oakla paranormal um, specialists basically KOPS cops but can Oakla paranormal specialists cops so we'll be doing some different paranormal investigations hate to say ghost hunting because I don't really believe in ghost hunting uh, I believe in Jesus Christ and I believe in the Lord I believe in the Trinity and I believe that demons exist um, as far as ghosts escaping the body and roaming around doing things, I'm a skeptic. I ain't saying it ain't possible because I have the hair stand up on the back of my neck. Um, when I was in the hospital in Wichita last time I was sick, I was having people pat me on the shoulder when I was laying in bed. I don't know if that was me or the medicines they had me on. Um, I woke up a couple of nights here recently, um, what in what they call sleep paralysis, which happened a long time ago with Shell, um, but I had taken a lure tab that night. It was shortly after I got sick, and I woke up with sleep paralysis. And when I broke free, I grabbed Shell around the neck, and she stopped me. Um, I didn't hurt her, and I didn't squeeze or anything, but it just kind of freaked us both out. Well, the other night I was sleeping in my recliner, and I woke up. And, you know, you don't wake up completely, but I was awake to know where I was at, but I could not move, and it took a while for me to break free. So, anyway, just so you know, it's COPS, K-O-P-S, and that's Canopla Paranormal Specialist. And that name may change. It's actually just a working title right now, but I thought it was kind of cool. Um, Canopla, because... Half of us are down in Ponca City, and some of us are here in our Kansas City, Kansas. So, of course, Can Oakland, KSOK was already taken. And the river, well, that's already taken, and the damn sure ain't going to use that. So, Can Oakland, not internet, but paranormal specialists. So, we're the cops. So, anyway, all right. So, oh yeah, speaking of which, I got a joke. What happens when you goose a ghost? You get a handful of sheep. Yeah, that's what's going to be different about us over them is all of us are hilarious. So, anyway, I haven't even named. If y'all want to name this girl for me, since she ain't haunted, y'all get a name her. And if this stuff haunts her, then that's going to be her haunted name, but... Like I said, let's turn this thing back on. And she's not haunted. She don't raise nothing. She don't do nothing. But these things have something attached to them. I, I don't know what. But it's just something is attached to them. And I don't know if it's... I mean, there's, it's there's no magnetic. And this is 97, so it's not really that old. And... So, what, 20 years, you know, a little over 20, what, 22 years old? I don't know. I, I don't do math. But, and then this. Ooh, well, I turned it off. But, that's called a REM pod, remember. And I built it in that little pirate treasure chest because I thought that would be cool. And it is. But, now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some EVPs. So, I'm going to have complete quiet. Shell's out front watching TV, so I'm hoping we don't get any of that noise. I had her turn it way down, so it shouldn't bleed through. But, let me know if you hear anything in this, and then Shell's going to listen to it, and she'll give us a report as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and start... Oh, dog started barking. I don't know what that means. Alright, I'm going to go and start with an EVP. And, hello... My name is Buddy, and I've got a machine right here beside me that if you have something to say, you can talk into this little machine right here. 
I know if you're, you know, back from the 1800s, you're not going to know what all of this electronic equipment is. So, over here, see the flashing light? See, can you make that box go off and make that light flash? Let's see what you can do. And then if you have anything to say, talk into this machine right over here beside me. Or you can talk into that camera or this machine beside me. What's your name? What are you attached to? Okay, I'm not hearing much. Okay. If there's anything you would like to say, anything I can do to help you, just tell me. Speak into this box here or make that REM pod, the little pirate chest over there, if you touch it, it'll go off. It'll show me that you're here. Okay. Well, I don't know what else to do here. We tried that. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to... I need to move you. Is that okay? May I move you? Oh my god. No, uh, sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you see what just happened? How can we explain that? Can you touch it again? Can you hit that box again? Over here. Let me set this down. Okay, I'm setting you down, please. All right, I moved it and set you down. Now, I'm going to move you again. Okay, is it okay if I move you again? Please, may I? <laughs> Thank you very much for letting me move you. I'm going to lay you down right here. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, now, the beer opener, whoever's attached to the beer opener, may I move it? Now, you're close enough to the REM pod, I may set the, my body electricity, because of my animal magnetism may set it off. But, just in case it doesn't, may I please move you as well? Okay, let, let me move you. Thank you. Um, I, I appreciate that. May I move you back? I want to see how close I can get before the REM pod goes off. So may I move you back, please? Okay. May I move you again? That's, that's me setting it off. That's not, but that obviously you saw was not me. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. That kept going when I was away from it. May I move you? I need to move this item. May I please move it? And thank you. I know that's me setting it off, but it goes off as soon as I move away from it. All right. Now, if any one of you would like to move into this doll, then please do. And we're going to let other people name the doll for us. So if you can think of a name for the doll, and I'm not going to do anything like stupid stuff, 
Give me a good name for the doll. I'm not Annabelle, not after an already scary doll or any of that. It's a ginger doll. I almost want to call her Zephyr, but I don't want Zephyr in my life that much. As much as I love her, she would probably stab me in my sleep. So, we got a ginger doll. If you all want to think a name. She's got brand new earrings in her. They look like little lips, but the doll herself, I believe, is pretty old. Um, anyway, now we're going to do something else into our little investigation here, which I'm turning this back on. All right. And, oh, that was me. That's, do I think that was me? I'm not getting close enough. I'm sorry, may I please put this? You do not want me to touch you. May I please touch you? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. May I please turn you after I touch you? I don't know if that's a no or if that's me or what, but anyway. We got, there's just something causing an electrical. Look at that. It's, there is nothing and I, okay, I'm sorry. There's nothing, I mean, it's brass. I've got other brass items here. Yes, I'm sorry. You, you're not haunted, so I know you didn't do that. I could have done getting close to it. But look, I got a brass is not doing it. I don't know what's causing that, but no brass item I have here is causing that. So, anyway, that's what's going on. Now, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Just so I don't have to keep asking permission to do stuff, I'm going to turn the rim pod off. But you guys seen what's going on. I mean, this is weird. I had to ask permission to move that the st the knife sharpening steel. I don't think the guy attached to the beer. Okay, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. That was the beer opener. <laughs> All right. You guys, this, come on, let me talk, please. I, I promise you, I am not out to hurt you. I am here to help you. If you're tired of living in these items and you want something else to move to, please move to this doll. I've got other dolls here and do whatever. But all of these things that I've been using here are high tech and they're electronics. Um, they can't be manipulated. I made sure that's why I built them is the only way to turn that on is to get close to it or an electrical field gets close to it. Okay. Or you pick up something that it don't want you to pick up. I guess it's not doing anything now, but a while ago it did. This isn't doing anything now, but a while ago, well, sorry, didn't mean to piss you off. But see? It's weird, but if you guys want to move to the doll, move to the doll, or at least one of you. If you don't, don't, but I think it would be cool to have a haunted doll and have you, our new fans, name it. But I wanted to go low tech, and I got to tell you about this. What are we getting up to 23, 24, 25 minutes? This video will be longer. Okay, oh, let me turn this around. So, let me take off this here. Alright. This. Oh. I'm going to turn you off. I know. I know. I know. It's. It's okay. This is a pendulum. That's all it is. This is a pendulum. It cannot hurt you. You can use this to talk to me. Okay. So, I'm going to go and shut this off right now. Okay. This. I built. If you can see that, it says yes, no, DK is for don't know, and NA is no answer or it doesn't want to answer. Now, 
this is kind of a new deal. I came up with this. But the pendulum's not. And let, let me move this box right now. Because I got to tell you about the pendulum. Okay. Hocus pocus focus. I don't believe in any of that crap. But when I was, was studying all of this and wanted to get to know it a little bit better, Michelle, my, my lovely wife, and I went to a couple stores in Wichita that sell different things like pendulums and rocks that protect you from evil spirits, which I did buy one of them. But um, the pendulums are all hanging across the dowel rod, hanging from the ceiling. Just like this. This isn't the original chain. I put this chain on it. Because the original chain, which it came with. Let me. Here's the turmeric or whatever it's called. This is the rock that is supposed to protect us from evil spirits. And, oh, let's get rid of this chain. This is the chain that, that came with it. And... It was just a little bit too girly for me. I didn't like it. So anyway, let's put this the chain right there. But this, these pendulums were hanging across a dowel rod, and there was a whole bunch of them. And I was looking to buy one. Sorry about my arms. I, I but anyway, I was looking to buy a pendulum. So. I walked up to this whole string of pendulum. I mean, there's probably 20 or 30 of them hanging from this rod. And none of them moved, but I just walked up to it. And I'm checking them out. And I'm looking for a cool-looking one. Because this clear one, I wouldn't have chose. I wanted something with some color, some funkiness to it, whatever. Um, well, this one here, without anything started moving by itself. No other pendulums, not even the ones that were less than a quarter of an inch away from it, moved. But this one, when I walked up to it, started moving. Now, I'm a non-believer in this crap. So I'm like, that's weird. So I thought, yeah, that's got to be the one I, I get. So I took it off of the rack. And when I told the lady about it, she says, yep. And I gave this to Shell. Well, first, I did, I did my, I tested it. So, let me show you how. Now, holding it, it means that there's human intervention here, okay? So, I don't want you guys to think that this is um, supernatural, because it's not. But, you hold it still, and I say, show me yes. Okay? Watch my hands closely. I'm not doing that. I am, but I, I'll explain it in a minute. But show me yes, and it's making a circle. So that is my yes with this. I I had Shell try it. It didn't work for her. It just hung there. These attach to a person, I guess. I'm not a believer. So why it worked, I don't know. But then look, I come up here, hold it completely still. Come on, quit moving. Okay, show me no. It's going back and forth. Do you see that? That's my no with this pendulum. So, it's, it is what it is. But, here's how it's working. Subconsciously, you know what you want, okay? So when you use this to make a decision, or because it's only going to answer yes or no, or don't know or don't answer if you use that. Now, I've never had that work, so I'm not sure that's even going to work unless the spirit moves it when it's on it. But I hold it steady, hold it still, Come over here, and a yes or no answer. Um, let's see what would be a yes or no answer. Am I married to a blonde girl? Am I married to a blonde girl? 
It knows. It's circle, 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 yes. It's weird. I Like I said, in your subconscious, you know what your answers are. You know, do I want to go to the movies? You're trying to decide. What do, do I want chicken for dinner? Well, if that says yes, well, it's subconsciously, yeah, that's what you want. Even though, you know, you're probably married and your husband's like, what do you want to eat tonight, honey? And you say, oh, I don't care anything. And he says, Freddy's frozen custard. And you're like, no. How about Popeye's? No. Uh, you want to go to Arby's? No. Well, what are you hungry for? Oh, I don't care. Oh, my God. Don't act like that don't happen. Oh, I wanted to leave this out. But anyway, there's no magical, mystical forces with this pendulum. It's your subconscious. Now, with the addition of my little box here, I want there to be something that answers it. But, sorry, I gotta set my thing back up. And... So I'm hoping that this low tech, I can get answers from it. So let's get it. And I want it not to be hanging about as far in the middle as it can. Okay. All right. If you're in the room with me, you see how the pendulum is hanging over that board. And it's marked yes, no, no no answer or don't know. So if you're in the room with me and you want, would like to speak to me but can't, can you swing that pendulum? Yes. Can you swing it back and forth to yes? Can you make that swing? Come on, try harder. Come on, do it a little bit harder. I, If I'm holding you over that, the yes is going to be a circle. If, if it, the, your answer is yes. If you're attached to one of these items and you're in the room with me, please move the pendulum. Okay. Then please talk into the, talk into this electronic device over here. All right, well, I guess you're not wanting to be very talkative to me tonight, are you? I haven't got you to say or do anything. I'm going to go ahead and move this box over. And let's go ahead and see what I think is going on here. <coughs> All right. Let's move it. Okay. Hold still. Is there a spirit in this house? Well, it's not really doing a circle and it's not doing a back and forth. It's doing a side to side. Oh, no, no, it's doing a circle, I guess. Okay, so in my mind, there's a spirit in the house. So I hate it because I don't want my hand to move. Let's put it over my hand here. I'm going to hold it as still as I can. Okay. Is the spirit attached to the knife sharpening steel? That's a yes it is. Okay. Is there a spirit attached to the bottle opener?
That's a yes there is. Is there a spirit attached to the comb holder? Okay. <laughs> now. Is there a spirit attached to the doll? <laughs> it answered no. I do not, I swear to God, I am not moving this in those directions. I mean, I think in my mind I am, but it's coming through the slightest of movements that I'm not making with my fingers consciously. Um, anybody that messes with these will tell you that. And I believe that's what's happening. And I don't believe that the doll is haunted. And I do believe that there are spirits attached to the three items I brought home today. So, anywho. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to end the video. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this up where tonight I'm going to have a night camera on these items. And if there's any movement or anything, it'll activate the night camera. I'm going to use the doll as a placebo or I don't, I don't know what they call it. But anyway, I'll have these arranged. And we're going to just watch it all night long and see if anything happens with them. I'm going to probably leave the, the rim pod on all night just to see how many times. It's kind of quiet so it shouldn't wake me and Shelly up. But here's another rim pod that I built. This one here, I was trying to use all different kinds of things to put these together. But this ended up... If it was painted yellow, it would look like a minion. And so I don't care for it. So what I did was I bought a couple of project boxes that I got in the mail. And I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and see how loud that one is. But I'm going to go ahead and probably move the guts out of this one. I want to leave that, the treasure chest one like it is, because that's cool as hell. But I'm going to make a minion one out of this one. Or take this one apart and use the parts in the project box. So anyway, there we go. I'm like 37, almost 40 minutes into this. I don't want this video to go much longer than this. So we are going to... Oh, and the noise you've been hearing right now is Michelle's in the kitchen. And um, you don't hear water running or anything like that because she's not doing dishes. She's probably making a snack. Um, but anyway, just so you know, any of you spirits that are in these three items that I brought home today, if you feel like talking tonight, please do. Your voices will be recorded. You can move anything. If you want to move into the doll, move into the doll. Twist the doll's head. Do, make the doll move. I don't care. But... Let's see if we can have an eventful night, and we'll see what happens tomorrow. So anyway, Uncle Buddy loves you. Everybody have a good night, and God bless you. And remember, being a skeptic is one thing, but the hair on the back of your head rising up is something totally different. But anyway, love y'all. See you later. Bye. All right, all right. Well, we're just going to watch a little bit of this. Nothing happened. Nothing moved. If you see anything, the lights flickered a little bit, but that could just be the security camera I was using. Um, there's no lights on at all in the bedroom. And anyway, there you go. And I just want to say thank you for watching, and I'm not going to keep you much longer, but I appreciate everybody paying attention and helping out and remember if you have any any ghosties you need looked at give us a call um we've already done one haunted house here in arc city we're going to be putting that footage together and having that out you're going to be amazed at what we found it was very exciting so anyway everybody's favorite uncle uncle buddy
See you all later. Have a great night. And remember, like, subscribe, smash that notification button, and off we go. Bye. What in the world? My phone will make it go off. But look at this. Angels in the attic.